uh, Conwell Egan, uh, the culture here is very diverse. It's very, um, it's, it's, it's unique in this, in a sense. It's unique in a sense because uh, you will run across students who have um, experienced many different things. Um, although they're young, um, they have, uh, they come from a lot of different backgrounds, a lot of different experiences. And what I think really uh, makes this school different is they're able to share their experiences uh, without um, issues or you know uh, clicks and things of that nature um, things that will empower and encourage one another um, each other as opposed to letting down one another um, they, uh, because the school is built in such a facet that it, it, it allows you to express yourself um, it really makes the student feel comfortable being able to say hey I, I don't know how to do this I can do this though you know I'm not from this type of background I'm from this type of background but how can we combine it together and become one how can I understand you and how can you understand me so the culture of the school um, is unique you know it, it's amazing to see that there is a place where different nationalities can come um, and learn about one another and actually grasp you know the essence of what each individual person is when I was coming as a freshman I thought that there was gonna be like people that I had no idea I was gonna be lost and then I just came in and like you said, Mr. Goodman and Mr. Person with the Bridge program, and that really helped me transition into um, Egan, especially since I've never gone to Catholic school too. Kind of like what you said, how, like, how they welcomed you since you're not the same religion, since you're a different religion. Um, but I think that's just another thing that makes Egan unique. It's the bond that everyone shares here, everybody knows each other, so. And to add on to what Jordan was saying, it's just like, it's just a blessing because it's hard to like, when you walk in these doors and then when you leave, it's like, it's just extraordinary because it's like when you leave, it's like you may see some people from CEC at the Giant or your local food store. And it's like, everyone be like, oh, hey, that's Jordan or hey, that's Mika. They come talk to you. Or if you see one of your teachers, it's like a family. It's like we all like are one big family. We all want to protect each other and be there for each other during like bad times, good times. And it's like, no matter like, what goes on, drama, whatnot, it's like we all find our way to like come back to one another and be able to just be one with one another because at the end of the day, we're gonna be with each other for the next two years. So it's like well, these bonds that we're making is important to have for later on when we go to college because it's gonna be the same thing all over again. So I feel as though CEC brings that, those values and those morals to help us when we be adults and see what the real world is like for ourselves. I am Kimberly Merchant and I'm the president of the Multicultural Club. And the Multicultural Club, there's many purposes to it. We like to make sure that everyone is included, everyone, because here at the school, everyone has a different culture, a different background, everyone is different in their own unique way. And we want to make sure that everyone feels included in everything that is going on in the school. And personally for myself, joining the club and being able to help people learn about different things. It helped me realize that there are so many other things that people go through depending on where they're from and we don't understand it. But being part of the club has helped me realize that I have to value what other people know about and learn what they go through every single day. Um, well, from a student government perspective, I think it's important that we know everyone's culture because we're representing the whole school. So having that club and having everyone be exposed to different cultures and just more familiar with each other and connects us more as a family. Well, for me, I feel like that makes you feel um, extra confident because as a freshman coming into the school, I was a little nervous and just having everybody like um, welcome you and support you it just makes you have that boost of confidence that you feel like will be okay. I think it makes you feel like you never have to act a certain way. Um, personally, as someone who was adopted when I was 14 months old, um, I've never had to hide that and I think that and nobody would judge me. And I think especially like 
for the foreign exchange students too, like they're free to be themselves and express their culture and we all accept them and we're interested in learning about it. And I feel like as a representative on student government that it is important to get every student's like opinions and ideas heard. So I feel like that's another way to get ideas and get to know each student a little bit more. No matter where we come from, we have one goal, and that is the greatest commandment, and that is to love one another. That's the greatest commandment of them all. Love God with all your heart, soul, and mind, but love one another. That's the two greatest commandments. And when we put forward that love, those values of faith, hope, and love, those virtues, well then we truly can be that oneness, that body of Christ. Anytime, any place, you stand beside me and wait. I sing hallelujah. I bring my burden again to my Father and my friend. I sing hallelujah. But when I walk through the halls of Common League and Catholic High School, you see a diverse atmosphere. You really do. You have students from different backgrounds. You have teachers. You have administration. We all come from different areas of, of I want to say, of the world, basically. And you, know, and you look at the different nationalities. Um, but the beauty of it is that we all play a role in forming this community. And that's when I, when I look back in Scripture, and it brings out the oneness, okay? Because for a family, you need to be one. And that's what Kamal Egan brings to the table. When we hear St. Paul speaking to the city of Corinth, what is he saying? He says, we are many parts. We are many parts in the body of Christ. Well, Christ brings us together, and we all play a part and a role to bring out those Christian principles that were taught here at Conwell Egan Catholic High School. And it's just beautiful to see that they, we come together as one, but we live out the mission that Christ puts forward. Oh, my fear falls away, singing glory to you, God. I know when I transferred in here last year during my sophomore year, it was really difficult for me personally, like the whole transition, because I came from a much smaller school and I knew literally every single person. So CEC for me was a much bigger school than I was used to. And also coming from a different religion. I was really nervous my first day especially but I know the people around me made it a lot easier and now I feel like I'm actually part of CEC because of how specifically Mr. Bauer and Mrs. Powell and Ms. Bennett made that transition easier for me. So yes, yeah, CEC definitely is a family and is very inclusive, which I really appreciated my first year here. Will you Your peace.